everybody, this is Harry, and I wanted to give you a quick tip today on selecting the correct container to mix your cement in so that you can make air cream. So when I say container, I mean like a garbage pail, a garbage can, or um, a storage drum, 50 gallon drum. So there's a number of containers, but what's important that I want to talk about today is the bottom of the container. So some of the containers have ridges on the bottom, and some are smooth. So I'll give you an example right here. This is the kind of container or a garbage pail you want to stay away from because it has those ridges in there, which helps give the container strength. But what it does for you is it allows the cement to settle into those pockets. And so that when you have your mixing blade in there, it's not reaching the very bottom. The only very bottom it would reach is the very center. So that's one example here. Now, if you do have one of these containers and you don't feel like shopping around, what I did by accident was after mixing some cement, I left some cement at the bottom and ended up making a cement plug. So I actually use this if I'm gonna mix cement in this barrel, is I'll, I'll put this back in here So now the entire bottom is flat and you can mix your cement in there and whatnot. But if you don't have a container and you're looking to pick one up, then this was uh, like a $10 garbage pail, really cheap and expensive. This is a 32 gallon, but if you notice the bottom, it's smooth. So this makes it a lot easier for your mixing blade to catch the cement or sand that's at the bottom so anyway that's my tip smooth bottom if you don't have a smooth bottom container make it into a smooth bottom container peace out everyone